Questions. I had so many questions. Who is God? What is prayer? Why am I here? I heard of the word God, but never knew who he was. Would I take those questions with me to the grave? Or was there someone who could answer them? Growing up, my dad and I were really close. I really enjoyed traveling with my dad because I got to see small towns, villages, and exotic places all around the country. He was a successful construction worker who would always take me with him when he traveled. Every time I was with my dad, I felt like I was on top of the world. Nothing would be able to break that bond. Until one day, when I was 11 years old, I found out my dad had cancer. I felt like my world had completely been destroyed. We went from living in a big house to living in a trailer because my dad wasn't able to work as much. It came to the point when every time we went out in public, we would call the ambulance due to the amount of pain he was in. This would happen so much that I became numb to the flickering lights of emergency vehicles. On May 27th, 2013, my dad passed away. I couldn't believe it. My frustration and anger turned into a long season of depression. I remember at the funeral, a preacher came to speak about God. That was the first time I ever heard the word God. Many people came to the funeral, including my grandma who was super religious. She brought a Bible that belonged to her and in a fit of anger, I remember taking her Bible and ripping out the pages and cursing this so-called God. From that time on, I was consumed by hopelessness and utter darkness. But God didn't let me stay there. About six months ago, something changed. In the span of one week, God sent four people to talk to me about Jesus. After my conversation with the third person, I said to myself, if one more person comes up to me to talk about God, I will give it a shot. And then it happened. Two days later, God sent me that fourth person. A guy from Christ Place Church came up to me and started telling me what Jesus had done for me. When this happened, it was as if God was staring me in the face. The following week, I came to a worship gathering called Revive at his invitation. I had no idea what God was about to do. I started attending as much as I could. I started reading the Bible. I asked questions, found answers, and felt the drawing of God. The more I read, the more I became fascinated, like reading a novel you can't put down. I felt like I was starting to truly come alive. God's word told me that Jesus actually cares about me, that he is always there and gave his son as a sacrifice for my sins. After months of questions and wrestling, I surrendered my life to God and was baptized. He brought me out of the darkness and into his wonderful light. My victory in Christ has changed me into a new person. I am blessed to be surrounded by a community of believers at this church who encourage me and show me how to live out God's truth. God has answered my questions, removed my doubt, and set me on a new path for my life. Now he has given me a question for you. Are you willing to step out and talk to the thousands of people in our community that were lost in darkness just like I was? I hope you will. You could be a part of seeing someone's life be transformed.